Hi colleagues, I'm Gezan Sikuni. I just want to take you through the use of SSMs. I believe that each and every official should be able to assist schools in as far as SSMs, particularly when it comes to your own subject. So as officials, it is our duty to make sure that we familiarize ourselves with uh, how SSMs operate. So this tutorial is going to take you through the process of extracting the documents that schools normally submit at the end of each and every term. So it is my wish and hope that uh, um, each one of us in the intermediate phase, we need to be, we have to be able to advise on how to do this um, in terms of uh, them being able to extract the documents that we need. You will know that we, we, we need the, a pass rate from the schools, we need the composite stats, sometimes we need the exam stats as well as the um, term schedule. So I'm going to demonstrate how uh, uh, schools should be able to do that so that we can be able to advise in future if there is a school that struggles on how to um, uh, extract these documents. I have managed to install uh, SSMs in almost all the official um, um, laptops. So each one of us is having SSMs on our laptops. So what you do, you're going to click on the uh, icon of SSMs. There's a shortcut that I've created on the desktop. Double click on the um, shortcut, then it's going to open up SSMs. As you can see, this one is opening up. All right. Um, fine. I'm going to choose um, the one on the uh, network the database on the network, and then it can see that, okay, it says Katoripili. Okay, I believe in everyone's computer, we're all having the same school, okay? So if it's already there, you just click on it, okay? Then we click on continue. Then the next thing is to click on administrator as our username, add uh, mini administrator, administrator. That is your username. Then the password is going to be admin1. Then from there, from there, you're going to click on login. Okay, the system will load. Then the, the module that I want us to familiarize ourselves with is uh, the curriculum module or curriculum related data because this is all about us as curriculum. So this is what we should know, okay? When you look up there, you can see that this is the version uh, of ACSMS, which is 19.3.1. Uh, Remember, we are still our, um, awaiting the arrival of uh, uh, 20 version, okay? Which will cater for the uh, latest developments in terms of uh, ATPs, right? Just click on curriculum, okay? Now, I remember, remember I said we're going to look at how do we extract pass rate and the other stuff. Okay, then from here, you go to curriculum related schedules and printouts, click on it. Then when you are on this screen, you look for a 19, 12.9.16. Okay, this one, you click on summary per quarter, you click on it. Okay, on the next menu, you're looking for the pass rate. Pass rate, as you can see, is 12.9.16.4. All right, that is the, this is the, 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 the what to call, we, cl we click on that one. Um, I said, okay, 12.9.16.4, okay. So there it is, that is the one that normally has to give us uh, the pass rate, okay. So when it is like this, we're going to click on, um, all right, fine, it is, um, uh, term uh, is 2020 then we want all the learners okay yes all the learners then click on go okay there we are we are having the the, the, the pass rate okay we have a uh, grade one up to seven so this school had a problem with grade five don't be surprised why grade five is not appearing there was an, a system error on the time when they were submitting Okay, so this is the one. So what, what must you do now? You're going to click on 
export to Excel. You are exporting this pass rate because it is now on ACSAMS. Then they must click it on export to Excel so that it can be exported to Excel. Click on export. All right. It is ready to export. Where do you want to export these to? To the desktop. Okay. Look for locate the desktop. There is the desktop. On the desktop, I have already created a folder which is ready to be contained with uh, these stats. Okay. It is called Gezani Primary. This is the one. Gezani Primary. I double click on it. Then I put my Kesa here and rename my file. It's going to be pass rate. I type pass rate. Okay. Fine. Uh, pass rate. Right. And then click on open. Now it is formatting so that it can uh, export it. All right. When they ex uh, you see the exporting is it's 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 successful. I click on OK. So I will find it that side. Then click on done. Right. The next um, uh, uh, document to be exported is the composite stats. The composite stats is twelve point nine point sixteen point seven results per grade per subject. This one. Okay. That is the one that we expect them to bring as and when they submit. Okay. That's the um uh, the composite stats so they are going to click on it to say 12.9.16.7 then i'm looking for all okay here i must choose all grades must appear on the same paper okay and then um the term that i'm looking for is term one I must choose the correct term term one and then there are the stats i can maximize here you can see here are the stats for all the grades then I'm, I'm, again, I'm again going to click on export here at the bottom so that uh, the stats are exported to Excel because if they are left like this, they cannot be um, uh, 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 received. So we need to export. We're going to say export. We click on export, right? Right. So you see by default, it knows that I've created a folder where all the exports are taken to so i'm gonna take this one to the very same folder i'm gonna rename this one to say this is um composite stats i'm going to type composite composite stats okay click on open then it's gonna start formatting uh, everything so that it is exported into the desktop where the folder it's gonna contain them okay i'm done then I'm going to click on done. And then again, when I'm here, um, I can see that I'm done with this one. I'm looking for the term schedule now. I'm going to click on curriculum to go back. Okay. Now I'm looking for the schedule. I'm going to click on 12.9.15. 12.9.15. Department mark schedule. Click on it. Okay. They, I am. I'm in the new menu. Then which schedule I'm looking for? I'm looking for the one that says 12.9.15.7. 12.9.15.7. Okay, the max schedule for all provinces. Okay, I will show you why we choose this one. Okay, right. We click on it. And then we're going to choose the grade. Let's choose grade four, the schedule that we're looking for. We're not looking for the class schedule. We're looking for all the classes in grade four. We choose all. Then we're choosing 2020. Then we're going to choose the term. It's going to be the cycle is term one. Okay. Then click on go. All right. Let me maximize the view. You see here is the schedule. Okay. The, the reason why we, we're choosing this one is because it is able to give us both percentages and the levels okay so that is the one that we choose right and then from there like we've done with the other one we're going to say export we click on export then we're going to say grade 4 schedule because this is grade 4 schedule grade 4 schedule so basically we're going to do the same stuff with the other remaining grades okay so we're just choosing grade 4 as a demonstration click on open then it is exporting uh, the stuff to that particular folder okay so right thank you very much it has um, completed so what you do 
you're going to click on done because you're done then exit ACSAMS. go to your desktop and locate your folder with those um, files that you have exported here is the folder Gezani primary okay I'm going to double click on Gezani primary I can see my composite stats my grade 4 schedule and my pass rate okay fine so what must I do now I'm going to click on the folder right click on it and say send to a compressed folder so that I can email it okay when it is in a compressed folder click on compressed folder fine so here is the compressed folder is it this is a zip folder now okay it is ready to be um, emailed so the next thing that I must do is to go to my emails that is what you're going to do to email me the 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 the, the stats that you will have exported okay so you will name it with your the name of your school okay then I compose and then I compose a new email and then I'm sending it to Sikuni G okay there okay uh, stats term one stats that's my my heading term one stats then I have term one stats okay write my message there then I attach I'm going to look for the file there I'm going to go to the desktop I'm looking for the zip folder this is Gezani primary the zip folder I click on it and click on open and then the zip folder will be attached okay and then send it so the expectation is that after you will have worked on this in terms of how ACSMS works in when you are exporting the the documents that are needed at the district you'll send the documents that you have uh, you will have exported it's going to be the pass rate composite stats and grade 4 schedule okay so you're going to send that to me on friday next week thank you very much colleagues